This is an overview. Net sales ended at 1 trillion 185 billion yen, and operating income 91 billion yen, a significant growth in both sales and profit. Net sales went up by 17% year on year, and operating income was up 22% year on year. I'll now talk about the extraordinary gains and losses. The various structural reforms and growth strategy that we are carrying out are called Fit and Grow. As a result of Fit and Grow, we are reporting large numbers as extraordinary gains and losses. As a result, the profit attributable to owners of the parent for this fiscal year was a record high 63.5 billion yen. Now I will talk about each business segment starting with Japan food products. This segment did very well, achieving a significant increase in both sales and profits. Seasonings and processed foods showed solid growth. Next I'll talk about international food products. With regard to umami seasoning, the US dollar was very strong and the dollar denominated export costs improved. Cost reductions had a major positive effect on this business. I would like to discuss the forecast for this fiscal year ending March 2017 and our future outlook. Net sales for fiscal 2016 will be 1 trillion 186 billion yen, which is basically flat year on year. Factors that were considered include a 43 billion yen impact from exchange rates due to the stronger yen, and the pharmaceutical business being reported as an equity method affiliate. Operating income is forecasted at 91 billion yen. Although we expect growth in profits in the seasoning and processed foods business in Japan, as well as international markets, we also factored in a 5.1 billion yen negative impact from the stronger yen. We also expect raw materials and fuel prices to be higher, which will bring us to the same operating income level as last year. This shows the forecasts for incomes below the operating income. These were major one-off factors that affected extraordinary gain in losses last year. In contrast, fiscal 2016 will not see a major difference in non-operating income and losses. At this moment, we have not factored in any large value deals that will have a positive effect on pre-tax profits. Therefore, we expect net income to come to 51 billion yen, reflecting the operating income level from last year. To strengthen our foundation and reform working practices, we need to foster an environment where people can work with efficiency and ensure the global standard of a seven-hour workday for our diversified and talented HR. In this year, we will have zero base reforms of working practices covering both management and work style. Furthermore, in 2017, we will strive to reduce regular working hours by 20 minutes, and the target working hours in 2020 will be seven hours.